Well, I don't know how well this is going to work, but uh, I want you to hear a little bit of Homer's art. Here's the copy of the Iliad that I had uh, when I was in college. It's all uh, in terrible shape. But I like to point out that this is a poem. It's about 500 pages long. <laughs> a lot of times people don't think a poem. Well, that's maybe a couple paragraphs. No, an epic poem is completely different. Uh, and in Homer, I'll read just a little bit of it. Uh, I mean, the, the length of time that it takes to upload videos is such that it doesn't really work to read a lot of it. But I'm, it's online, obviously, you could find it easily. Uh, one of the things Homer did was he used a certain kind of simile. They're sometimes called Homeric similes or Homeric metaphors. And they're unusually long and detailed. And I want to run a couple by you. My favorite one, actually I couldn't find it right away, is where it, in great detail it describes uh, the rain washing at a rock up on a mountainside. Uh, you know, years over winter and then finally the rock breaks loose and comes rolling down a mountainside and mows over trees and eventually rolls until it finally stops. That's the way Hector was as he charged into the forces. I couldn't find it, but uh, see, it's a simile. It's a comparison of one thing to another. Well, here's one. Uh, she brushed it away from his skin. It was an arrow. Athena was protecting someone. She brushed it away from his skin as lightly as when a mother brushes a fly from her child who is lying in sweet sleep. That's a metaphor, or, or that's a simile. Uh, here's another one. As when rivers in winter spate running down from the mountain throw together at the meeting of streams the weight of their water out of the great springs behind in the hollow stream bed, and far away in the mountains the shepherd hears their thunder, such from the coming together of men was the shock and the shouting. So a big description of waters smashing into each other coming down a mountain. That so that you could get a picture or an, an image of what it was like to hear those men uh, shouting. Here's still a longer one. And they, as storms of snow, descend to the ground incessant on a winter day, when Zeus of the councils, showing before men what shafts he possesses, brings on a snowstorm and stills the winds asleep in the solid drift and shrouding the peaks that tower among the mountains and the shoulders out jutting, and the lowlands with their grasses, and the prospering work of men's hands, and the drift falls along the gray sea, the harbors and beaches, and the surf that breaks against it is stilled, and all things elsewhere it shrouds from above, with the burden of Zeus's rain heavy upon it. So numerous and incessant were the stones volleyed from both sides, some thrown on Trojans, Others flung against the Greeks by Trojans, so the whole length of the wall thundered beneath them. So that huge description of snow falling was to give you a picture of what it was like for all those rocks. Well, there are many other great ones. Now, I want you to hear uh, uh, a little bit, not um, from when uh, Hector uh, is killed. Uh, so he spoke, and pulling out the sharp sword that was slung at the hollow of his side, huge and heavy, and gathering himself together, he made his swoop like a high-flown eagle which launches himself out of the murk of the clouds on the flat land to catch away a tender lamb or a shivering hare. So Hector made his swoop, swinging his sharp sword. Uh, let me jump ahead a little bit. Uh, and as a star moves among stars in the night's darkening, Hesper, who is the finest, the fairest star who stands in the sky, such was the shining from the pointed spear Achilles was shaking in his right hand with evil intention toward Achilles. All right, or toward Hector. When uh, 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 when uh, uh, he, uh, oh, I, I should back up and go on to where he's killed. Uh, he was eyeing uh, Hector's splendid body to see where it might best give way. But all the rest of the skin was held in the armor, brazen and splendid, he stripped when he cut down the strength of Patroclus, yet showed where the collarbones hold the neck from the shoulders, the throat, where death of the soul comes most swiftly. In this place, brilliant Achilles drove the spear as he came on in fury, and clean through the soft part of the neck the spear point was driven. Yet the ash spear, heavy with bronze, did not sever the windpipe, 
so that Hector could still make exchange of words spoken, but he dropped in the dust, and brilliant Achilles vaunted above him, Hector, surely you thought as you killed Patroclus you would be safe, and since I was far away, you thought nothing of me, O oh, fool, for an avenger was left far greater than he was behind him, and away by the hollow ships, and it was I, and I have broken your strength, on you the dogs and the vultures shall feed, and foully rip you, the Achaeans will bury Patroclus. In his weakness, Hector of the Shining Helm spoke to him, I entreat you by your life, by your knees, by your parents, do not let the dogs feed on me by the ships of the Achaeans, but take yourself the bronze and gold that are there in abundance, those gifts that my father and the lady my mother will give you. On he goes, but then Achilles says, no more entreating of me, you dog, by knees or parents. I wish only that my spirit and fury would drive me to hack your meat away and eat it raw for the things that you have done to me. So there is no one who can hold the dogs off from your head. And on he goes. Then dying Hector of the shining helm spoke to him. I know you well as I look upon you. I know that I could not persuade you, since indeed in your breast is a heart of iron. Be careful now, for I might be made into the God's curse upon you on that day when Paris and Phoebus Apollo destroy you at the Scaean gates for all your valor. He spoke, and as he spoke, the end of death closed in upon him, and the soul fluttering free of the limbs went down into death's house, mourning her destiny, leaving youth and manhood behind her.